with your lectures. I've heard them a thousand times from a thousand self-righteous warriors. Unless you have something useful to say, the only thing that matters to me is how quickly I can cast you aside. I really have a lot of work to do. <coughs> You'll fail. Men like you always fail. Interesting theory. Hello, sir. Have you beheaded the intruders yet? What is it? There is an incoming transmission from General Serpentine. The full moon is out. <laughs> Not a cloud in the sky. Don't relax just yet. Upload the scans and get back here immediately. Of course, my lord. Contact the crash site and tell them to refit our warp drive. I want the artifact to fit like a glove. As you wish, sir. We're getting off this rock. An alliance with Shang Tu. What a lovely idea. Oh, hey, Magister. Sorry about ambushing your soldiers and desecrating your temple. Let's go frolicking in the woods together with our makeup and pretty dresses. Your Excellency, we're a neutral party. Send us to speak on your behalf. If he won't listen to the greatest ruler in all of Avalis, why would he listen to a bunch of kids? Can we try? Pretty please. Just imagine how much people are going to love you for reuniting the three kingdoms against a common enemy. You'll be a hero. Me? A war hero? Now that you mention it, I could use a few extra hands. So you'll help us then? Eh, what the heck. It's worth a shot. Yay! To the airship! But of course, it's equipped with everything you'll need for your trip, including your luxurious living quarters. Good luck, my friends! Thank you! Just imagine it, Carol. There are other worlds out there, just like ours. <gasps> we should go on a space adventure someday. Don't you think that'd be so cool? Are you kidding? It'd be the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I remember saying almost exactly the same thing. Did you have a change of heart? Not really, no. I guess I just wasn't prepared for the sacrifices I had to make. Just gotta keep moving forward with the mission, I guess. No point in thinking about a past that can't be changed. You're right. Um, <clears throat> how's the other girl doing? Mila? I'm not sure. Can you go check on her, Carol? Okie dokie. I'm gonna get some sleep. Well, I'm fine. You go on ahead. How's it going? I'm... I'm making a wish. Oh, what kind of wish? Well, I really want to see my mommy and daddy again. Sounds like a good thing to wish for. We're going to be going inside soon. You want to come? Okay. Disable those ships and we're toast!
You just don't know when to fold, do you? Don't you get it? Lord Brevin's the murderer! Thanks for the tip. Now get off our ship before I throw you overboard. Like that'll happen. <sighs> oh well, don't say I didn't warn you.
So that's why your airships are boat-shaped. How could Zhao do this? He must have thought we were all he needed. We would have been ready if he had told us. No wonder Brevin's gotten away with everything. Our leaders are too brain-dead to pay attention to anything but themselves! <sighs> Never mind. I'm just... I don't know. It's all right. How far is the closest city? Shang Tu is just a few miles east. The river should take us there. We'll give that panda guy an update on our situation. The Magister might be able to help. I hope he believes us. Things have been pretty crazy so far, huh? Yeah. How long have you been away from your parents? I'm not sure. It feels like a really long time. And you've been alone in the woods ever since? Yeah. I hope this doesn't sound weird, but... <laughs> that's kind of impressive. I wouldn't survive a day without my treehouse. Hey, when this is all over, how about we have a girls' night out? Just you and me! You mean... a play date? Something like that. We could try out some dresses, 
Or maybe buy a huge plate of sushi and just pig out. What about Carol? Can she come too? Good luck getting her to put a dress on. <laughs> well, sure. I'd like that. Great. Look, everyone! The city! Haha, <laughs> my friends! How did the negotiations fare? Prince Dale took the stone. We need to speak to the Magister immediately. <sighs> I see. Very well, then. He deserves to know. A thousand good greetings to you, Magister. It's my understanding that Shui Gong is now in possession of the Kingdom Stone. Not exactly your greatness. Someone else has it. Explain. It's been taken by a warlord named Brevin. He has been manipulating the Three Kingdoms into waging war. And you have proof of this. This is a fragment of one of Brevin's machines. Have your scientists examine it. You'll find that its mineral composition doesn't match anything that's built on your world. Wait! Don't touch it! This theory you have of a man from another world sounds highly suspicious, at best. If you will allow me to explain, Magister, I have a different theory in mind. Proceed. This is nothing but an attempt from Mayor Zhao to cover up the atrocities he committed against our kingdom, Stone. He must have offered you a generous reward to come here and make up this ridiculous story. After all, you can't resist money, Sash Lilac and Carol T. And you know our names because... You were quite the fortune teller yesterday, so I couldn't resist doing a little background check. Not only have the two of you been stealing crystal shards, you've been working for the same group that claimed responsibility for the stone's theft, the Red Scarves. <gasps> hey, look, Lilac, it's our uh, identical twin sisters. They're criminals and spies, Your Excellency. Is this true? We were just... Wait. Magister, we're no longer members of the Scarves. It was a long time ago. We did what we had to to survive. Detain them until further notice. Make sure the commander and his evidence are properly quarantined. <gasps> hey, 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 easy! Magister, please! We don't have time for this! You're right. Take them away immediately. Examine the fragment! Examine it! <laughs> <laughs> 